Hello guys, Homer Gaming, I am back with 10 more easter eggs slash details in St. Tro. Did you know in St. Tro's 3 the mechanics is called rim jobs and, and the mechanic in this game's mechanic in this game is called a Jim Robs. Hmm. Think about that. Uh learn if anyone else picked up on I felt like I had to share this because once I played St. Tro 3 and I knew the mechanic's name that probably because I said at the beginning I didn't really know what the mechanic's called. I, I got I got I got an actual laugh out of it, so I found it funny. That obviously what they uh, named it too, so not not a big name change really. So if you come to this location on the map here, you can actually find a bath a bathtub go kart and if you drive it back to your Saints HQ or Jim Rob's mechanics you can customize it and keep it. If it gets destroyed along the way to driving driving to, to the mechanics it will not say if you've actually got to put it in your garage to keep it. And it's got like a you know you can customize it over it it's it's pretty cool. And uh weird detail here, if you come to this location on the map, I was just flying around in the in the desert to Doing some stuff, doing some side activity, you will find a, a, a light, a, a light fixing floating around in midair. I don't know if this is an Easter egg. Uh, this happens all the time in games. It could, I think, it's like a uh, asset left over from developers, and sort of actually put, you know, put it underneath the map like norm, normal devs do and normal games do. They put it out in the middle of middle of bum fuck nowhere in the desert. I actually stumbled across it at night. This is like a, the clip you're watching now. It's the first time I actually stumbled across it. I thought it was. I I was really excited because I've not seen no one talk about this. So if you come here in the desert in Saint Tro, you can find an Easter egg to Breaking Bad slash reference. And what it is is this broken down RV in the middle of the desert, like classic Breaking Bad fashion. And funnily enough, there's actually like this drug deal going on where you can actually get some free money. And I know they didn't sell meth in the middle of the desert in Breaking Bad, but like. Obviously, it's drug money, so I thought it is. I think it's a Breaking Bad Easter egg, so I'm putting in the video. So just be careful there, that there is a few enemies, so make sure to kill them before you take the money. If you come to this location on the map, you will find the Zoha from the Xeno games, I think they're called. Uh, it's also in Xeno Chronicle Blades, I think, and all the rest. I don't know, I've just quickly researched what it is, because I just found some random gold monolith. But uh, that being said, we're moving on. If you come here on the map, if you come in with a buddy, be uh, great, because uh, there's a, a little porn game I like, or a game I like. It's called Jenga. So this time it's giant Jenga in the game, and the, and the blocks are movable. you got to shoot them. And the best part is that you shoot them out. You can't put them back on top like you're supposed to do, but you can shoot them out. And yeah, obviously first one, first on the top of Hold the tower loses obviously and you can reset it but just be careful when shooting out with some of the blocks they can be awfully tricky and the way I shot it out it really didn't go well like at all it just like slumped over and it was an complete and not a mess but nonetheless uh, if you want to play Jenga with a friend online you can waste 60 pounds on the same try and do it if you come to this close store location on the map and buy and buy this hat like I do here, these trousers and this jacket, it can make your character look look like Indiana Jones. I know, cool Easter egg. Uh, if you come also here in the middle of the desert, so you go here from the Saints place, you you'll find two blow up dolls. So one of Jason Voorhees and one of Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter's on the one on the right, Jason's on the left, and yes, you can shoot them to destroy them. Because they're an utter freak of nature, you would want to blow a uh, blow doll of serial killers. There's one detail I also noticed. If you're firing off a shotgun, your shotgun casings, your shells will fall on the floor. Same with lots of other bullets. You just gotta notice it, and I, and I will zoom in on the bullets so you can notice. I thought it was a cool detail because I know some games have bullet casings fly everywhere, but this is actually one of the details I noticed. Obviously, for shotguns and obviously ARs, you can see kind of SMGs and also do it. Pistols, you can see that kind of does it. You just gotta keep a close look out. I know, not a not funny, important detail or whatever, but. I thought, it, I, I thought it was a nice touch, I'm going to give this game some praise where I can, and I know it's probably going to be pointless to some of you guys, but hey, I think it's kind of cool that it does that. Sadly, it does not work for the RPG. For the RPG, it is a giant big disappointment, and it, it kills you in like four shots, even when it is uh, upgraded, so you can't kill yourself quicker in the game. What a disappointment.
Now, for the final easter egg, if you come here on the map, you can find a very kind of alien-esque easter egg. But I think it's an easter egg to, um, 2001 Space Odyssey of, like, the monolith they've got. And it has been graffitied. There is a blow-up, though. Yes, it can destroy it, like I did. But nonetheless, I think it's 2001 Space Odyssey easter egg, or it can be, like, an easter egg and then to aliens in the Sanctuary world. Because there's, like, three already. And yes, I, I forgot to mention the rocks that are floating about. Uh, it, you can't actually stand underneath them. I, I have tried. I'm not going to read all this out, I'm going to show it on screen and I'm going to give you a few uh, minutes to read it. But I do think it's a 2001 Space Odyssey, Odyssey you know, it is. it's a movie and they had like these like silver towers which were well, monoliths I should say, which are on screen. So I'm just going to let you quick, guys so quick, you, quickly let you read this and I'll be right back. We will end this one more on a funny note. If you come to this storage lockout near the Saint HQ, you will find a Karabit from previous Saint Row games. He's an Easter egg. And uh, a, what a Karabit is, is when a, uh, a cat and a rabbit have uh, relations. And uh, this is the outcome. Yes, you can you can play some down in the Saint HQ if you truly wish. So uh, that's uh, the Easter eggs and details I've got for you in this episode. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I ain't, I ain't got no plans to do a part three. If you want a part three, let me know down below. And if you know any details, Easter eggs, secrets, or something that, you know, stuff that I've missed, let me know down below. Much appreciated. Uh, if, you want, if, you want, if you want if you want me to do, like, ten, like, ten or more secrets, Easter eggs, and details on other games, please do let me know, because it'd be much pre you know, it will give me ideas on what, what to do for content. Always, sorry for getting out so late. I wanted to get out in a week, but I just got way late of editing and uh, delay. So, uh, so obviously sorry for that. Uh, that being said, guys, we're like at the time of recording, we are five five steps away from 700 subscribers. Let's try to get 700 subscribers. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a very good day. Goodbye.